12.30 start time, so I don't know. But uh, it would be nice to have Sundays off so they have a full day off because yesterday they're supposed to, we gave them the day off, but they, you know, the sophomores had an event they had to go to last night. They've got to do stuff, so it's not really a day off. What do you guys got? Go ahead. Hey, this is the official introduction of the schedule for the week, so. Oh. You know, yeah. we, we know, we know. Um, what, what growth have you seen from Bergen as a defensive player this year compared to where she was a year ago? Yeah, that's a great call. She's digging a lot of balls, and yeah, she's become a very good, for a setter, she's become a very good defensive player. So, uh, I mean, we train it, and she embraces it. How much of that is a mentality shift? I mean, she's getting to practice in the gym and getting to those drills, but how much of it is a mentality shift? It's it's a total mentality shift because setters are just worried about do I set good balls, but the great ones do everything really well: serve, block, defense. Yeah, I mean, it took Kelly five years to become a good defensive player. She was awful when um, she started, and then her senior year, she was a phenomenal defensive player, and that was one of the reasons that team was so good. Um, but yeah, defense is you know it's yeah it's a mindset and the great ones have a ch you know they're able to handle that mentally to do all the skills really well and take pride in being a great defensive player. Do you think having Kelly and then Nicklin last year in your ear helped her with that mindset yeah. shift? I've never thought about it, but it probably and Nicklin was also a phenomenal defensive player too. So, uh, but we've had we've had years where setters didn't didn't, didn't dig a lot of balls. How, how significant has your defense the last few weeks been to your success? Last few weeks? Well, I think really good. I mean, I think a great example against USC. I mean, they they were doing some stuff we haven't seen since. I mean, they were kind of like Arizona State, but probably with better athletes. And um, it took us a while to adjust, but then we finally adjusted. I mean, I, I'm not sure they got a kill down in game five. I'm sorry, game three. I mean, we just dug everything. So it took us a while to adjust, but um, I think they, they had five kills that game for the whole game. So um, just thought our blocking defense really, really took over that match. That's what we got to continue to do against these teams. And that this Thursday, we got to do it on the road. With all the players you had back, do you think you should have been better at defense earlier in the season? Well, we played a tougher schedule than last year. So we, put, we played a significantly tougher schedule. Uh, than we did last year. Last year, you know, we scheduled lighter because we had five freshmen and, you know, transfer. And um, but this year, I mean, our schedule was pretty tough. So. So you felt like you were playing good at defense. It just wasn't showing. As much I just think it was just we're going against better teams. It's harder to play whole teams down. But the other thing is, you know, with our schedule, it was hard to prepare for teams because we were playing like every other day for two weeks. So now in the Big Ten, we have a chance. You know, to get to prepare for teams, so I think that helps give us an advantage. How do you decide on the starting lineup? I know when you pulled Lindsay on Friday night, went with Taylor, but then went back to Lindsay. How do you decide who's getting playing time there? Yeah, there's no. You just gut feeling. We the coaches we talk and and um, so yeah, it's just kind of a gut feeling and who's who's stepping up that week. Week to week or match to match, it's kind of how you approach it? Um, it depends. It's kind of more week to week, I think. Other questions? Going back to Burgum, you talk about her passing skills. It seems like she's also taking a step forward blocking. I don't know if she gets left on the island sometimes, but she's had a couple solo blocks and just kind of improved. Do you think she's improved blocking as well? No, no question. Uh, you know, the. Blocking, as I've said this a hundred times, blocking is the hardest skill. And when they come in as a freshman, and um, so she's a year into it, you're in our training, and we work a lot on blocking. And and now she's grasped it. I think playing on the USA team, she realizes how important blocking is, just with the physical hitters you have to go against. So, um, but um, yeah, she's got a great feel for it. What does that do for your overall defense to have a setter that can? Be a force it, it's that. huge because, you know, you saw USC subbing me out. Uh, there's other teams that sub their setters out. So then you're going with no setter or, you know. Um, but uh, 
we, you know, we've always tried to get our setters um, to be great blockers or hold their own. Even Nicklin, who didn't jump very high, but she was able to hold her own and make sure the balls weren't hit down in the middle of the court that we can't dig. Mm -hmm. And that's something we were just really stressed with them. You don't need to stuff balls, but you need to take away the balls we can't dig and just touch them and slow them down. So t touching is, I mean, deflecting and slowing it down is just as good as the stuff a lot of times because they might cover it if you stuff it. So um, but we ask that from all of our blockers. and, and um, But it's really nice when you have a setter that, you know, uh, can hold her own up there. Having seen Harper grow, especially like her toolbox from last year to this year. Toolbox. Um, I mean, we work, we've been working on all these things. She's a year older. Um, she's, I think, understanding college volleyball, what she has to do. And so I think she's just doing what we train and getting better at it. Anything else? All right. Okay, guys.